you know who this is? Would you be surprised to know he's been the MP around here for the first years? No. We kind of launched an investigation into Stuart Bell um, that took about three months. Um, we actually started it before seeing the film as it happens. There was a story about how he hadn't held a constituency surgery for 14 years. I, I was quite surprised about that. Stuart Bell doesn't hold public constituency surgeries. He says he holds them by appointment. So you ring him and you arrange an appointment and he'll come to meet you in your own home to discuss your concerns. It's vastly different to the way the, the majority of MPs operate. Most have a, a regular surgery, open doors. And I learned that he didn't have an office in the town as well as not holding surgeries. And I started ringing um, and sure enough, nobody answered either his Middlesbrough number or his uh, London Westminster number. Um, so I thought, well, what's going on here? So I kept ringing and then I started keeping a log of it. And in the end, we made a hundred phone calls and nobody ever answered the phone. He employs his wife as an office manager in Middlesbrough. Um, he employs staff in his offices in London. Um, I think they're, they're paid by the taxpayer something in the region of £80,000. So over three months I was thinking, when am I going to stop doing this? And at first I was thinking, actually, this, is a, this could be a cracking story, this is quite good fun. But then every so often I would think, this isn't great really, it's not a, a great state of affairs. It just took off. The Labour Party is investigating claims that Middlesbrough's MP failed to answer calls to his constituency office. Middlesbrough's Sir Stuart Bell has been accused of being the laziest MP in Britain. The Independent's um, front page, the headline was, is this Britain's laziest MP? Question mark. The Labour MP says he has no record of the calls. He insists that he does respond to messages and works hard for local people. I was happy to let him say whatever he liked. We, we were 100% sure on all our facts. We worked on it for three months. We had meticulous records of when the calls were made. We had phone bills to prove it. So we were confident that our story was true. Although there was nobody available for interview today, the Evening Gazette has told us that they stand by their story 100%. And it's not just them asking the questions now as well. I gave him plenty of notice in the weeks before we ran the story, asking him to give his side of the story many, many times and we never had anything back. Tried to get in touch with him, you couldn't. Could never, ever get in touch with him. I don't think that sounds very good. I think he, you know, if he's uh, representing the people, he should be available for them. Spokesman for Labour leader Ed Miliband says the party's chief whip has had a stern conversation with Sir Stewart and he's been asked to write a letter of explanation to the leader's office. It took it being picked up nationally for the Labour Party to come out and make a statement, but this is the way of things sometimes. 